Yeah! You up here, the most electrifying man in YouTube entertainment, hanging out today with Enzo, the coolest dude in diapers, and you can't teach that. Bada boom, cutest baby in the room, still wearing his Santa Claus pajama jammers. But I mean, who cares? It's cold outside, and these things are awful fuzzy and keep this little man warm at night. I don't give a shit if they got Santa Claus on him or not. Despite the point. It's early in the morning here, do up still drinking some coffee, and Enzo just got done with his bottle. We're up early because we got a lot to do today, little baby Enzo. That's right. We got to go down and pick up some fan mail. We're going to run around and see if we can buy you some toys. That's right. Just a normal day for good old Doohop and Enzo here on the Doohop Show. That's right, Enzo. Do you want to get to the movie? You want to get out there and get you some damn toys? Oh, and picking up fan mail. The, uh, the post office actually called me and they're like, Hey, asshole, get down here and, uh, you know, pick this shit up. We got no room for all the stuff you got down here at your P.O. box. So, Enzo, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to moving and go pick up some fan mail. Then we can hit the stores. Are you excited about that? How about a little bit of a... Enzo, can you hit me with a high five? High five? Nothing? High five? He's like, where's breakfast, asshole? Maybe we can't do nothing until we feed little Enzo some breakfast. What do you want, pancakes and eggs? That's what Do-Up is talking about. Let's go eat it, yeah! Enzo, you really need to finish eating breakfast because we got a lot of things to do today. So hurry up, finish there, and we can get to moving. Roscoe, stop cleaning up the scraps, you crazy dig. Come on, buddy. Slam that shit down. Eat it, yeah! Oh shit. One setback after another. Enzo just shit his pants. Now I gotta change his diaper, get him ready for the day. And if I don't fucking get to the toilet myself, I'm gonna shit Doohop's pants. God damn it. Alright, Enzo, we gotta change your drawers and get you ready. It's time for Doohop to get the turds out of my asshole. Let's do the checklist. Are you ready? Doohop and Enzo, we both ate. Check. Doohop and Enzo. We both took a huge dumperoo. Check. And do up and Enzo. We both got dressed for the day. Do up as Seamus 515. Enzo kicking it in his track gear. Enzo, are you ready to get to moving down to the stores? We've wasted enough time eating, shitting, changing, and napping. So, come on, let's go get fan mail and then we can hit Walmart. Finally, Doohop is on the road. That's right, I got Enzo back there in his baby bucket, and we are on the road. We are on the move, getting down to get our fan mail from the post office box and then down the Walmart. Fortunately, uh, Enzo isn't pissed. He just woke up from his nap, which is why it delayed all of our traveling and everything that Doohop had to do. Because sometimes Doohop works on Enzo's time, not Doohop's time. So, either way, Let's go down and get some fan mail. Are you ready? This is gonna be, here we go. Crank it up. Where, there it is. There he is. All right, buddy, come on. We're at the post office. Let's go inside and get the fan mail. Enzo, uh, look at, uh, we got a whole wagon of shit, buddy. This is gonna be great. Oh, boxes on boxes. I can't wait to play with this. Come on, buddy. We're gonna get home and play. Oh, we still gotta go to Walmart and look for figures. Are you excited? Look at the smile on your face. Holy dog shit on a tree. Doop is beside myself. I mean, can you see all those packages back there? And I got one jammed in the trunk that the box is just completely crushed. I might have to open that one immediately because the box is now so damaged. I had no room in the car. I mean, if, if Enzo wasn't back there, no problem. But I mean, you know, let's face it. I need room in my car for my little tag team partner, Enzo. Damn right. Now, with that being said, let's get down to Walmart and see if we can get some fucking toys for Enzo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we made it down to Walmart. Got to get a wagon. It's not wet because it's kind of raining. Enzo, you should have your hoodie up. This is, that's what they're made for. So, let's get inside and see if we can get you some damn toys. All right, buddy? You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, Enzo. You look absolutely adorable sitting here in this little wagon and waving your, waving your feet in your little track suit. Come on, let's, let's go a little faster so we get down to the toys. Uh, um, Enzo, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Well, that's the Ninja Turtle section. And, uh, that's the Star Wars section. I, uh, 
Oh, no, wait, there's Star Wars. God knows what that hole was. Oh, maybe that was Transformers. I bet the WWE section is just as empty. Hey, Enzo, I found the WWE section. A couple tag belts, a couple defining moments we got already, and some bushwhackers. That's a sad excuse for figures, buddy. Hey, Enzo, frankly, I can't wait until you're old enough and realize that Legos do not go in your mouth, but I mean, this thing is rad. I want to get you stuff like that. I can't wait till you get a little taller talking and walking. He's walking the walk, he's talking the talk, he's calling you soft. All right, guys, do up, Enzo. We're back in the car. Absolutely nothing at Walmart. That was as bleak as a blind man's asshole. I mean, nothing inside that Walmart. And well, that doesn't mean shit to do up, because with that huge box in do up's trunk, it's already crushed, mashed, and destroyed. I might as well get home and find out what's in it. Maybe there's a toy for Enzo. Maybe there's a toy for Do Up. We'll find out as soon as Do Up gets home. But until then, it's time for a little Shizuka Nakamura. You ready for a little Nakamura, Enzo? Here we go. Nail it. Go, Nakamura. All right, guys. So we are home. We're here. Do Up, Enzo. We ran around. We did all those chores. Man, we got all that fan mail. We didn't find shit at Walmart. We ate a little lunch when we got home. Now, because we didn't get anything for Enzo down the Walmart, I'm really curious as to find out what's in that huge box. I right, the stuff inside the trunk of my car. And you can see the box is completely destroyed and damaged. I hope whatever's in it isn't destroyed. I'm not going to blame the United States Postal Service because, well, frankly, I like I said, I had to jam it in my trunk. So... Let's open this son of a bitch up and find out what's in it. Oh, there. All right, here we go. Like I said, this is huge box that's destroyed. And, um, well, I got a knife, but it, frankly, it's kind of opened already. I smashed it so hard into the car. Look, there's, uh, there's this stuff. And, uh, yeah. Unbelievable. <gasps> Hold on, wait. Let me read the shipping paper and see maybe if it says... Who it's from. I'm kind of, I, I don't know what to do. I'm kind of pissed. This is crazy because I can see what's in the box. I'm going to show it to you right now in a second. But the paperwork in the, for the shipping says giant 31 inch action figure and then the name of the figure. And I'm looking in the box and it's a completely different figure. And so wait till you see this shit. By the way, thank you, Paul Willis, for shipping this. This is awesome. Though it's not the one you ordered for Do Up and Enzo. Well, probably for Enzo. I don't know. Did you send this for Do Up or Enzo? Probably to both of us because we're both jack wagons. Either way, thanks a lot, Paul Willis. Now, with that being said, Paul, if you'd like to call the Toys R Us and, and bitch them out, because let me get this out of the box without scaring Enzo. I don't want him afraid of this, see he's already, look, 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 oh no, the poor thing, he's already scared. All right, I got it. Oh no, no, it's okay buddy, look, look, look. So, the paperwork says, I'll, I'll move you to this side, how's that? The paperwork said, giant 31 inch Seth Rollins action figure. And what did Hop get? Ah, oh, it's Brock Lesnar! So, <laughs> oh it's okay, don't be afraid of Brock Lesnar. He's not gonna put you to Suplex City. Look, he's a, he's a nice Brock Lesnar. Hey, do you want to you want to drop kick him? Well, if you drop kick him, would it make you feel better? Ready? <laughs> all right, that pissed him off. The thing he's afraid of all the toys that are bigger than him. Do you remember he was afraid of the big lion o Thundercat? He probably would have liked the Seth Rollins. Let me get this Lesnar for you again and show it to you. I'm gonna put Enzo over there where it won't scare him and then put his baby cartoons on for him so I can show you Brock Lesnar. All right guys, so Enzo is sitting over there and he's watching his baby cartoons. Hopefully he doesn't look this way to get upset by the big, huge Brock Lesnar 31 inch. Now this thing is really sweet and badass, but it's definitely not the Seth Rollins that it says on the paperwork. So let's take a look, see, I'll show you. See it right there, you buggers? Seth. Rollins. That ain't Seth Rollins. Somebody in the fucking Toys R Us warehouse has absolutely no idea which WWE superstar this is because that ain't Seth Ro Are you Seth Rollins? Are you Brock Lesnar? Unbelievable. <sighs> Look, he's raising his hand in victory because he made it to Doop's house and his name isn't Seth Rollins. Well, but I should F5 this son of a bitch right now. Uh, and frankly, I'd like to play with it with Enzo, but he hates it, so... Well, I ain't gonna fucking return it. I like Brock Lesnar. <laughs> I like Seth Rollins. So, 
Uh, let me... G Actually, you know what, guys? I'm not going to open it yet. Let me know what you think. Should I return this to the store and see if I can get a Rawlings? Or should I just keep it? So leave that in the comments. Either way, I'm going to keep it away from Enzo because Enzo doesn't exactly like it. Enzo, do you like Brock Lesnar? No, he turned his face away real quick. He went, mm, like that. Fuck it, too. All right, guys. Wasn't the exact toy I was <laughs> expecting in the box when I saw the paperwork. But I will tell you this. I do like it. So you got to tell me. Leave it in the comments. Should I keep it or should I send it back? With that being said, I'm not going to... Uh, Scare Enzo any bit more with uh, the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. I'm out of time. Like this video. Leave a comment if you haven't done it already. Subscribe for some more fucking do up. And Lesnar, I suppose. Oh, and Enzo. Hell yeah, the cool dude in diapers. Can't take that. Bada boom. Kill this baby in the room. I wish he liked this. We'd have a match right now.